Okay, everybody comfortable? Okay, here we go. Exterior, cemetery, night, the shootout. Yeah! My job is to basically help pick whatever is going to be filmed and what the movie is going to look like. We wanted to get a very good sense of Los Angeles. Living the dream, baby. Yeah, man. And that kind of had to be a little more beautiful. It's a big promise. But I didn't want it to be crap and cheap. That's very good. That's very brainy. Martin McDonough, I think, gives a richness and another character to the film itself through parts of the city you might not have seen on film before. He's just got a funny way of showing it sometimes. This is always in my head like a puzzle, like a gigantic jigsaw. The canvas was pretty big and cinematic. There's still hidden gems and things that have not been exploited, and that's what we set out to do with this movie. How did you describe it? specifically. Martin, he was the one that picked the La Brea Tar Pits and Joshua Tree. Movies are usually bigger stories that jump around different places. It's a very high-tech operation. We found a warehouse that was a barrel-roofed structure, which was a key set, and then set up kind of slapdash with ad hoc with cages and clutter and stuff. Huh? What did you just say? The desert scenes, which are visually stunning, mixed with urban parts of Los Angeles, where we showcase not only downtown, but the beach areas, the valley, Echo Park, Beverly Hills. You know, we're all over. So there are a lot of different visual styles. Don't get technical on me. Joshua Tree, utterly beautiful. But you can't blow up cars there. You can't have shootouts there. No shootouts? Ah, no! Were we making French movies now? So we moved to adjacent locations where we could do the action side of the movie. There's a lot of fire in this movie, yeah. Flamethrower! It's been a real pleasure. We wanted L.A. to be quite colorful and vibrant, and it's just, it's refreshing. But well, don't keep going on about it! <laughs>